<laughs> so we're going to be shooting on Cinestill 800T today. We have a very special project. I did want to shoot this on 120 film using my Fuji GA645, but... Um... How do I say this? The bitch died. I don't know why I'm laughing, I'm actually very sad. I think it's because depression and that's just a coping mechanism. Anyway, the show must go on. I have Cinestill 800T on 35mm and I ran that through my Canon QL17. You might ask yourself, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna be shooting gas stations. When the people over at Cinestill invented 800T, they said, hey, this is a film that should be used to photograph gas stations. Why? Because tones. I hope that makes sense, because that's the reason. Anyway, let's get to it. So I started out with a couple of warm-up shots. They were bad. Um, you know, status quo, of course. But then I got things right. I was using the free light meter app on Android to meter these shots because the meter in my QL17, it works when it wants to, even though I've changed the battery a bunch of times. So whatever, we'll let that camera do what it wants to do. Now I will say, I haven't spent a ton of time doing longer exposures at night. I know longer is kind of relative in this scenario. I have done star trails and stuff like that, but for this kind of quarter of a second region with the aperture closed down a little bit, not something I've spent a ton of time doing. So a lot of this was a little bit experimental. That said, I got this film developed through the darkroom in California, and I gotta say, most of the time, I love them. They're one of my favorite places to send my film off to, but the scans that I got back from them, everything was really hot, and at first I thought, like oh man I really fucked this roll up but then I scanned it myself and I realized first off the colors are cast very green in their scans and second they're all really hot so I'm using my scans for this video and one other quick thought a lot of people on YouTube edit their film scans I actually don't do that I just kind of scan them in and convert it and that's it no no disrespect to them it's just not something I'm into but with that in mind I'm still not saying that these photos are perfect I'm really not a fan of the starburst effect that we have on the lights I know some people are really into that but I just find it way too distracting in these photos Yo, get out, of there. <laughs> get out. <laughs> So it's a new day now, I had to get some ramen with Rebecca before I went out to shoot these gas stations because let me tell you, gas stations in Cinestill 800T is hungry business. But we were in Stamford, Connecticut, and there was a couple of gas stations that I just had to shoot. I like this one because it's kind of lonely looking, but we need to get across the street. I'm thinking something like there maybe. Maybe we can get some car headlights streaking out along the way. I'm gonna go this way. Oh my god. Okay. So that puddle was like a million feet deep and my foot is soaked. That's good. So with my disgusting wet shoe, I trudged across the street and I got this photo. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with it. The area by the pumps is a little bit too hot for my liking. I wish I could have exposed just a tiny bit less to get a little more detail in there. But overall, I like the feel and the wet, rainy streets really gives a nice glow to everything. The reflections are super cool. Yeah, now that's a good one. I hate this pole right in front of us here, so we're just gonna frame around that, but something like that looks pretty damn cool. Eh, moderately cool. I like the person pumping gas there, and I like the exposure around there, but the lights are just a little too distracting for me. Let me tell you a secret. Stanford is a gem for weird, crappy-looking gas stations. <laughs> right there. The audio was pretty ratchet on that clip, it was a little windy, but I was saying that I was framing up with the road in there just to get a little bit of motion from the cars passing by. All these gas stations, and I guess I uh, kind of forgot about that, I guess we'll just quickly do that! <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what happened to my brain there, but now you've witnessed that too. Another day we're driving and I see all these gas stations and I just didn't have my camera on me. Ugh. Such a bummer. At least the sky looked cool though. Can we sneak in like right here? Nice. There it is. Alright, so now it's just a matter of timing. I bet you know what I'm going to say here, right? I like the photo. Except for the starburst. Do you see what I see? I see a gas station. There's like a million cars coming, I can't get out. That looks really cool. So I want to move a little bit, because I want to get the big tall shell sign 
in as well. So I'm thinking right over there might be the spot actually. Yeah, it's like right about here. Hmm, something like that. I didn't actually meter that one. That is probably a wasted frame. I'm gonna stop you right there, actually. That's that's pretty okay by me. But I did take another one just in case. This image has tones. Memes aside, I actually am pretty happy with that photo. If you come to this gas station, you can uh, get some nice sushi. Now that looks like an old gas station. The little service thing has a neon open sign, so we gotta get that in there. So we're gonna walk down a little bit. Too much shit in the way. I don't like those construction barriers. I think we're gonna cross the street. We'll do it that way. Now's the waiting game. We just gotta wait for these cars to get out of the way. Big said though, it was a little hot and we couldn't really see that open sign so much. All right, so I went for that same shot again, just a little underexposed this time. I just really want to make sure we're seeing that open sign. I'm glad I took the second shot there because I feel like you can see the open sign better. It's, uh, you know, it's still a little small in the frame. I probably could have gotten closer even though that would have put me in the street. And I think the exposure was somewhere between these two shots, but either way, I dig it. And now I think we're going to go across the street over there and we'll really close down the aperture and do a long exposure and get a bunch of car trails going by. There's a red light right there, so we're gonna just wait for a couple to queue up and then we'll hit it and we'll expose it for about four seconds. And here we go. I took two shots and I varied the exposure time shortly, mainly because I accidentally locked my remote shutter cable. Uh, so the first one was about five and a half, six seconds. The second was four seconds. I like the exposure a lot better on the second photo, but I like the car light trails better on the first photo. It's so quiet. We got a nice foggy night in this little gas station here, so we're gonna set up and shoot this real quick. And one more from this angle because I just really like the way that light kind of shines through there from the parking lot. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, these shots kind of came out a little creepy and uh, I sort of like that. Now that's a cool gas station. Got some neon in the window there. Nice Yankees logo. As I was leaving, I turned back to take another look at the gas station and I noticed this angle was actually really cool too. So I popped the tripod down and fired off one more quick shot. Grove Street, home. At least it was until I fucked everything up. Just kidding, we're shooting more gas stations. Mm, maybe from that side looking in, we'll see what we come up with. Yeah, I like this angle. I think there's too much road in the way. So maybe just like right about here. We'll see what this looks like. Now we're really cooking. It took a little while, but now we're definitely getting some of those really nice tones. I also did two from this perspective looking through that car window. I did one with the focus tighter on the car and one with the focus tighter on the pumps. Not sure which one I prefer. So why not both? Another beautiful, cold, crispy night in the Bronx I went out, but this time, I wasn't alone. Oh baby, we got AJ tonight. I always appreciate having someone with me while making these videos, even if they're not necessarily helping out, which AJ did hold the phone a couple of times, which was super helpful, thank you man. But it just, I don't know, it makes me feel less like crazy and it makes the cold just a little bit more bearable. Thanks. You know, I said thanks to AJ there as I handed him the phone, not realizing that he stopped the recording right there. So we had a bunch of really nice B-roll uh, that wasn't filmed. So shout out to AJ. Thank you. <laughs> After that, AJ took me to his favorite gas station, which, you know, super cool. I mean, we all have our favorite gas stations. And he did hit record this time, which was also very cool. I'm really happy with how these two came out. It really feels like this is like the height of the Cinestill gas station meme right here. All the boxes are checked. So thanks AJ for showing me your favorite gas station. I know that's super personal. I also noticed at this point in the roll, I started seeing some scratches on the film. So I might need to get the camera serviced because scratches aren't tones. I don't, I don't like that. And another night, no AJ this time though. I've always liked this gas station because of those four lights that are above the entrance into like the service area. Pretty aesthetic. Yeah, this is our spot right here. I really like that little truck right there. 
and it looks like it's about to pull away so yep okay well i'll go fuck myself either way this is an interesting angle so we're gonna set up right here real quick this one's just a tiddly bit overexposed, but hey, I think it's alright. I think the motion blur on the car is pretty cool, honestly, even though in the next clip I start worrying about it moving through the frame. I think it was kind of a happy little accident there. With that in mind though, I did recompose, I moved a little bit more towards the street, and I took another shot. So we have this gas station here. I don't know. There's a lot of traffic coming through, so maybe we can try and do some light trails. Major emphasis on try. These just did not come out the way I was envisioning them. The gas station was not gas station-y enough, and there weren't enough cars coming by. I just, let's just move on. I don't like these two. Oh, so those scratches look so bad. The tones were slowly getting replaced by scratches towards the end of the roll, which really is just profoundly upsetting. So I, I got a coffee as like a coping mechanism there, and I decided to fire off two more shots. I thought I had two more shots, but we'll get to that in just a second. There was a gas station right across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts, so I shot that, which surprisingly few scratches, so that was good, but then I couldn't advance the lever, so I guess I miscounted with my big brain, and uh, that was the end of the roll, so I couldn't do that last shot. Fortunately, I had another camera on me. All right, so I have the Olympus XA on the tripod now. So the Olympus is like an aperture priority situation. You set the aperture and the camera will figure out the shutter speed for you. And uh, gotta tell you, I don't love how it metered this one. This is, uh, wow, that's, that's putrid. That's really vile and disgusting. You might also be saying to yourself that that doesn't look like Cinestill. Well, We'll come back to that thought. I hit up this other gas station because there was like a liquor store right next to it that had a lot of nice neon signs. I thought it'd be cool, but I found it difficult to frame up with those in the background. They were a little bit further from the gas station than I expected, so I went for this lower angle shot, and I really like how it came out. If you're wondering, this was the neon I was referring to. Now, I know what you're thinking. What, what is this disgusting non-gas station photo doing in this video? And uh, I agree, so let's move on very quickly. I went to one last gas station and realized that wine and liquor store sign that really was an offense against God because that was the last shot on that roll, so oopsie. We got a nice double oopsie. It was Portrait 800, not Sinistil in the Olympus. Hey, you know what they say though. It's about the journey, not the destination. I had a lot of fun working on this project, and I know it's it's a bit of a meme, but hey, uh, so is this channel. This is my favorite photo, but I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. You can find me on the social medias. I'm on Twitter, MySpace, Instagram, Discord, TikTok. You can find me if you look. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, how do I say this? Goodbye. I think it's because I, I think it's because I'm depressed and it's a coping. Anyway, we're gonna, anyway, we're gonna use 35 millimeter 800. Anyway, we have, any, anyway, this image. I really like the tones. This image has some tones. This image has. Like and subscribe. The sweet little photography. The man.